Welcome back guys to our lechess.org chess game. So I'll be showing you today another set of uh, chess opening in chess. So this is what they call uh, Yusupov Rubinstein system. And it was taken from two legendary world champions, uh, Rubinstein and Yusupov. So here, this game is about how to attack the Black King using this system. So let's start. So it starts with d4. So here he played e6. This is the Horwitz defense on d4 e6. Here I played knight f3. He played knight f6. I played e3. And we are now in the territory of Yusupo Rubinstein system. So here this is quite pretty uh, for white if uh if you like attacking this very good for white as you can see uh he played here bishop oh uh, no not yet bishop e7 but he played c5 just to take part of the center because whoever have the control of the center or influence the center has the higher probability to win the game so he challenged my d4 my d4 pawn with his c5 pawn so here i what i did here is just Simple development, like developing my, my bishop on d3. So that's bishop d3. Then here, b6. Then I played here castle because I want to have my king safety first because I plan to attack his, uh, his king side at a certain time. So here he played... Uh, pawn text pawn that's c pawn text d4 so i took that back with my e pawn so e text d4 pawn and here i think he played here the bishop e7 so he played the bishop e7 just uh simple development for black actually the b6 pawn is quite very good because he wants to control the center via using the black the black white squared bishop so here i played here bishop oh no not bishop but c4 pawn again the purpose of this one is just to control the center so if pushing the c4 pawn i'll able to control the d5 square and the b5 square so i have this control on the on the queen side here he controlled the center via his pieces he put his bishop on b7 so he control now c6, uh, d5, e4, f3, and this g2 and this h1 diagonal. So he has a pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, bishop on the b7. So what I did here is, uh, I go for knight c3. So the knight c3 is just normal development for white. And also controlling the center for d4 square and also uh, not d4 but d5 and e4 square and also the side the what do you call it? it's not the center but it's the side uh, queen side it's the b5 and the a4 square so here i think he played here the castle you go for the castle and i think i played here uh d5 because the goal is to attack the king as soon as possible. So, uh, what I did is just to open up the files. So, later I can open up this B, B2 square and I can put my bishop here on the B2. So, I have all the eyes on the king side. So, but before that, I have to open up this center. So, straight away, open up the center with the D5. Uh, the computer suggested that he should put the knight on a6, but he didn't do that. But I think he go for the variation of exchanging the pawns on e pawn. So this is a pretty bad move because this will weaken the d4 square. Not the d4 square, but the d d7 square. So because this d7 square will be will be isolated, and and also be a this this will be a not a good pawn on the end game so here what i did here i just took with the pawn with my pawn 
on C pawn. So, so that C takes D5 pawn. And now uh, what he did, I think, was to threaten my knight on... Not totally threatened because this is guarded by the pawn on B, B2. But again, uh, just to develop, further develop. I'm not really sure wh why it was suggested by the engine. I think he could play other 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 move like this one, right? Just to give square on this on the knight. But I don't think how does the engine evaluate this one. But again, that's how the game ended. Not ended, but how the game proceeded with the bishop on b4. Uh, on that, I proceeded with my knight going to the e4 square so that is now uh threatening the knight on f6 however it is defended by the, the queen on d8 and also the g6 is there but on this move there's a threat of making a jump on the g5 and that's why the engine was suggesting that she should play h6 but he didn't do that but instead i think he took the pawn on the d5, and this gave me a uh, almost 4.5 advantage for white because I could attack now the h7 with my two knights, my one bishop, and also my queen can easily go to h5 square and make the attack. So here, what I did here is, as, as planned, we will attack the knight with g5 square to the h7 so i'm making a threat on the h7 square so based on the computer engine the best move for white for black is to defend with the knight on f6 and i think that's that's how also uh the the game goes so i take with my knight on the h7 it took with the knight on the f6 square so after several exchanges, I took the, the knight with my bishop and he took with the queen. And a knight check. This is now over because I can jump my, my, my queen here on the h5 square. Uh, the, some variations. Actually, there's just also a variation here that, but this is also a losing variation. He can go for the h, for the g8. And after that, I can go my queen with this. And actually, with this one, uh, he could check. He could sacrifice a queen here just to avoid the checkmate. But he's totally uh, losing because you just lost a queen here. So there's no sense in playing a game if you're queenless, right? Because uh, it's quite pretty hard to take to make a win or make a comeback if you if you lose already if you lose already a queen so yeah i think let's proceed where we end uh here several changes and after that a check and he go for uh queen g6 king g6 then i think i did h5 so just attacking the king side with my pawns and this is totally over in a few few moves he tried to defend the king side with his rook on h8 but i played here the simple move and quiet move queen d3 this is a check and he can cover that with his f5 pawn and i think uh, i can also back up that with this pawn is quite weak and so i can challenge that pawn with my g, g pawn so that's g4 uh and then i think the computer suggested this f8 and h5 but this is totally over but he goes for the queen f6 instead so after that i go for a pawn check then he sacrificed a pawn here then i took the pawn uh I sacrificed a rook here to my pawn and i took that rook with my pawn on g4 square that is with check he took that with a king, the king takes pawn, then my queen slide to h3 and delivering a check, and this is checkmate into, then he goes back to g6, and now I can checkmate him at g7, 
so this checkmate in two so actually this game over for uh for black so if this is a pretty good attacking mode for white for Yusupov and rubinstein system if you want to to explore this variation you can study further this quite good variation for for if your enemy is not that uh uh equipped enough they are not uh knowledgeable enough of the openings so this could be a surprise attack for them so let's just go back on the opening so the e3 is the rubinstein Rubisopo rubinstein system then after that se several developments and and i was there was a struggle on the center with both sides then he took the he took the poison pawn on the e5 square and which makes the life of black miserable so uh i think the the, the key points here is taking this pawn at d5 should not take this pawn instead actually he could play this h6 this is not this passive but again this playing safe but yeah if he took this side then it could be uh the, the, the results should be could be in this different side uh it it could happen i mean the the, the game could happen in this one if he didn't take the pawn instead he just make a normal exchanges of pieces and you can play this one and i think it, it is still almost equal for the for the engine but this totally advantage for white because there's a one pawn two pawns advantage and it's the white kings is pretty the white the white has a greater influence on the center compared to the black one and the knight is out position somewhere you can jump here but i don't think it's a good square for that one and i think yeah i think that's that's your game because of this pawn poison pawn on d5 everything collapse for the king side i sacrificed a piece for an attack and my attack was pretty successful after several exchanges of pawns here and and that was your checkmate okay so that was your your use of rubinstein system opening attacking mode for white so thank you again for watching and thank you have a good one guys and bye bye god bless